So I'm Scott Hake. Uh, I'm a medical oncologist at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, assistant professor, and uh, I, I see patients, but then I'm also uh, very involved uh, in the lab where we focus predominantly on, on kidney cancer. Yeah, so within clear cell renal cell carcinoma, which is the most common type of kidney cancer in adults, there's been a correlation between the expression of endogenous retroviruses. So these are sort of archaic remnants of viral infections from long ago. They're no longer active viruses, but they're also not human, right? And so sometimes in clear cell renal cell carcinoma, it's been observed that these can be re-expressed and that because they're not human proteins, they can actually elicit an immune response where the body then attacks that. And so within clear cell renal cell carcinoma, there's been a correlation between uh, um, the uh, immune system's response to the tumor and the expression of uh, these old uh, non-functional viral remnants. And so this has not been looked at in papillary renal cell carcinoma. And so that, that, that was really the focus of our project is to see if these uh, proteins were expressed in papillary kid kidney cancer and if so, what uh, is the relevance. Yeah, it, you know, it's really Im it, important when you're a junior faculty member and you're launching a lab uh, to be supported, right? And, you know, it's, it's, it's tough sledding out, out there, right? Because we're, we're, we're competing against all of the other wonderful uh, faculty that are at this meeting. Some are more experienced than, than you, right? And so you're, you're having to, to compete with them and their ideas with your own ideas. Um, and so it's really important uh, when you're trying to launch your career to, to, to have support uh, where you can go out on a limb and try to establish your own research program and so it's it's it's, it's been really important uh, to have that support from uh, the Kidney Cancer Association as well as other funders. Because if we don't do that then uh, we're not going to be pulling in fresh blood to this field and in 5, 10, 20 years from now we're really going to feel that impact where uh, there's, there's not um, uh, established investigators committed to this field, right? So if, 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 if you want to support sort of the next generation of kidney cancer investigator, uh, this is when you have to do it now. So I think more than anything, uh, it, it always comes back to, to mentorship. So I've been very fortunate um, to have really superb mentorship throughout my career. Uh, and these mentors are critical for helping you network and learn about new opportunities, but then also um, uh, to, to, to help vet your ideas and, 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 and to refine them and crystallize them so that they have the highest impact possible. So come, you know, come to these meetings, engage with, with with faculty uh, at all levels and, and uh, I think you'll find the support you, you need if you're willing to uh, put in the work. <laughs>
foundations uh, uh, and you know a prime example of that would be the kidney cancer association to, to support research which can improve patient care and can um, uh, help uh, young investigators uh, commit to, to, to the field and so um, you know, really, I, I, I see the role of foundations like the Kidney Cancer Association as indispensable to the greater mission of the um, kidney cancer community. You know, I've, I've heard baseball be called a failure sport, right? So the best baseball players will, will, will get an out 70% of the time and get a hit 30% of, of, of the time, right? So you've got to be resilient and you've got to be tough. You know, in some ways, being a laboratory-based in, in investigator can feel the same way sometimes, right? And so a lot of your ideas don't get funded. Um, it can be a struggle. Some, sometimes your experiments don't work. Some, sometimes you, you might feel a little alone and isolated and, and you're struggling. And you know, to have someone come along and say, we think your idea is good and we're gonna fund your idea. And then to see that idea go on and, and, and have an impact, you know, it, it's, it's, it's an appreciated shot in the arm sometimes for the uh, you know, boots on, 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 on the ground investigator who's busy seeing patients but also trying to keep a lab going. Uh, and so for that, I'm, I'm appreciative.